Hey everyone, Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled today to be one of the guest designers for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches 8, which has been combined with Scrap Timber, which is with Laura Albert and the Scrappy Sisters Jess and Katie. And I'm friends with all these lovely ladies and um, it's always so awesome to have the opportunity to come on here and play along and create a video. So it's day 16 and um, I selected day 16 because I love the sketch and also because the theme for Scrap Timber is rainbow. And I have Vicky Burton's colour study collection with me and when I saw the sketch I immediately thought of this beautiful paper. Now I know a lot of people have created a lot of different layouts with this paper and I bought two of them because I love it so much. Um, the B side is also lovely, but this is like um, a signature. Like, I don't know what whether it would be the signature paper, but it's definitely the one that um, just to me screams colour study and Vicky Burton. It's just amazing paper. Um, now, <clears throat> excuse me. So other um, papers I've pulled are these ones to fussy cut and possibly fussy cut some of these. For my background, I have the original Vicky Burton um, pre-made mixed media backgrounds. I love them because the work's done for you. I've been using them quite a lot lately. I've used them for a couple of CSI layouts and um, I want to just make my way through the pad of them. So that's the papers. Other things I have from the collection, I have got the sticker book, the 6x8 paper pad, which is amazing, um, such good quality, double-sided, which I love, and just smaller um, patterns. I had to have these thickers. I love the font that she has. I think it must be her handwriting and a few other icons. I've got the um, die-cut embellishments and the um, sticker sheets. So... Basically, it's a long story short, but I ordered this collection from, I think, four different places. I got, I've got more as well. I've also got more paper, cobbled type paper. And it took, like, I got some in New Zealand um, from Embellish It in New Zealand. And Spotlight? No, I never managed to pick this up from Spotlight. I also ordered some from um, Scrapbook.com. And the rest of it I got from Paper Issues. And I know most of you have had this for a long time, but it's new for me because I think it took four months for my Paper Issues order to get here. It is not Paper Issues' fault at all. It's just the way things are in the world, the pandemic, and things not coming directly. So my order went via Air France. I think it went to France, and then it went to Japan. And finally it made its way to New Zealand. And... Um, we had moved, so I went to my old house, and um, luckily we're friends with the people that live there, and I finally got my hands on it, and so I waited to get the final order. So all that to say that this is a new collection to me, and I know it's not for most of you. It is also a collection that I'm slightly intimidated by because I love the colours so much, I almost don't know where to start. So to have a sketch and a purpose to cut into this is perfect for me. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, the other thing is that I have cut my thumb quite badly. I've cut it like deeply through here. Um, this has affected my ability to do things like hand stitch because I can't put any pressure down. So I'm so relieved that I <laughs> chose quite an easy sketch. Um, if I was able to hand stitch... I would fussy cut this out and hand stitch, um, but I think it's still going to work if I distress the edges. But basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been playing along with um, 30 days, and um, I'm, I was trying to catch up. I'm now not going to be able to catch up because this is difficult. So I will, um, in my own time, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I wasn't anyway, but I certainly can't now. So I almost pulled out on this video, but I really want to do it. So um, we'll just see how we go. And yeah, just a little bit of a story, backstory as to why I've got such a giant plaster on my thumb. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I did was cut apart this paper. 
I initially cut them, cut these pieces in line with the colour, but then I go back later and trim them off. So you can either cut along the lines or along the actual colour, because some of the colours go over, and some of the pieces are bigger because they go over at the um, edge of the circle. Hard to explain, but if you have the paper, you'll know exactly what I mean. So I'm struggling here. I'm really awkward with this thumb. <laughs> Plaster makes it awkward, but the actual cut and pain makes it awkward. So I wanted to stagger these, but I also wanted them to be straight. So I'm using that um, triangular ruler. And then I'm stagger staggering them. I have distressed the edges. Like I said, um, if I didn't have an injury, I would stitch them. And I could have machine stitched it, but because I've left this quite late, because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it at all, because of the thumb, I didn't really want to have to change out the colour of thread in my machine. That would just be, it would just take too long. So I think the adding of dimension on some of these pieces has definitely um, lifted parts of it and added to it. So just trimming out my photo, I print these on my Canon selfie and depending where the perforated edge is, sometimes my border is really thin like this one. And now I'm just going through the 6x8 paper pad and Ava in this such a cute little photo of her. She's got her blanket, she calls it her nun. Uh, Brielle called hers her nun when she was little and Ava copied. Anyway, she put the blanket over her head and she just looked like looked like the cutest little old lady and I took this really sweet photo of her and because she's in her purple nighty, so I wanted to pull in a couple of purple papers just to pull out the colour of the nighty. and I'll add a die cut paper clip to the top of it soon which also helps pull out the purple. So with the theme of rainbow um, that's why I went with that paper as well, and I've put those pieces that I've cut into rainbow order. So that's addressing the prompt of rainbow. Um, another thing you could do with the sketch is actually have a cut file rainbow or a fussy cut rainbow. But I just love the half circle. Um, obviously a rainbow has that middle part cut out, which I guess you'd be covering it with the photo, so it would still look like this, but yeah. The photo in the sketch is circular. I've decided not to do that. Um, I already had this photo printed. I've had it for a while and I've been waiting for the perfect collection to scrap it with. When I knew that I was going to be using Colour Study, I did think about printing my, if, or not this photo because it was already printed, but printing a photo in black and white, which I think would work as well. But because I'm covering up, um, this photo was obviously taken around December because I can see Christmas decorations in the background, um, but if I cover them up, which I'm about to do soon, the colours in the photo are really just like the purple, the brown of our couch, and then more neutral colours. So because of that, I can get away with all the rainbow colours. So when you're using a collection like this, you do want to make sure that your photos are going to work with it. And if in doubt, just make them black and white. So, um, yeah, I've added that clip. I had put the foam on the back of my layers um, before I realised I was going to put that clip on. I would have stapled it directly onto the photo if I hadn't have already put the foam down. So I just did like a fake staple technique and then glued it down. So no one will ever know that those staples um, are not really holding it down. There was that tube of pink paint, and there's one that's a red colour as well. thought they were really cute just to play off um, the background pieces there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That You Colour My World is so perfect for this photo, because Ava, honestly, keeps us on our toes, keeps us laughing. She's hilarious, and that was perfect. So then I was going to fussy cut those papers, but just with the thumb, excuse me, and having to hold the paper and not being able to hold things and not being able to press down, I just decided it was going to be too hard, so I've gone with those um, die cut clusters of flowers, and I think they look fine. In fact, I like that they have a white border, all those die cuts, because that separates them from the rest of the layout. So, just um, deciding what to place where. I also have that um, ephemera piece with the paint swatches on the back 
<coughs> excuse me, seems to be lately, and I think I've said it recently, that I start coughing whenever I'm trying to talk. I do not cough all day. So there's that butterfly, and I was going to put that on the yellow, but I um, decided the only colour matching I'd do, do would be those two tubes of paint. Otherwise, I just went with things where I wanted them. I also have kind of colour matched these little stickers, hearts, and I think off camera I put a star for the green at the top. So then I'm just looking at that sticker sheet to see if I can add anything else. I go to these stickers next. Originally I was going to have one of these phrases as my title, but um, just decided to add one of those gold hearts just to balance the right side of the layout. And then I add a sticker word that says currently, uh, just to document where she's at when this photo was taken. And my final step is to add some white acrylic paint splitters that I've watered down. So thank you so much, um, Christy, Laura, Jess and Katie. It's been awesome as always. And um, yeah, if you want to see more of my work at the moment, um, do follow me on Instagram just because I've changed careers and I at the moment don't have as much time to make videos. So yeah, thanks for having me and take care.